Hello there, Booktube. I'm coming to you with a tag video. This is the bookshelf tag, originally created by A Wandering Mind, and I was tagged by Katja Weinert. I assume that's how your surname is pronounced, forgive me if I'm wrong. I will post the links in the description box down below. Question number one. How many bookshelves do you have? I have four bookshelves. Question number two. How many books are on your bookshelves? Or how many books you think you have? I have 570 books. Then I also have 25 books on my unhaul pile. And if I include my manga collection, then I can pretty much double the number. So. We are somewhere around 1,000 books then. Three. Oh, question number three. How do you organize your books? Well, it's mostly random. But I do have some books um, grouped together by uh, the country of origin or just by author. Yeah. Mostly, mostly random, really, because, because who cares, it's, it's on my books and I know where they are. They don't have to be that organized. Question number four. What is the oldest book on your bookshelf? And I assume this means the oldest you know, physical book, so not, not the content. And... That would be Viimeiset Kotkat by Bengt Barry, and this is from 1930. And this is a nature book, sort of a call to help the uh, last uh, sea eagle couple in Sweden. This has some nice black and white photography. Question number five. What is the newest book on your bookshelf? And that would be Portugali by Cyril Pedrosa. And this is um, an artist going to Portugal to sort of uh, learn more about his Portuguese roots. And this is sem semi autobiographical comic book. Question number six. What is the longest book on your bookshelf? Now, this was a bit tricky one because uh, um, this is suitable, suitable Boy by Vikram Seth. And some of you are probably familiar with this novel and know that it is somewhere around 1400 pages. In English version but this is the Finnish translation and for some reason this is uh, something like 50 pages pages shorter and yeah this is not this is not abridged so <laughs> I have no idea why this is so much shorter than the English version but yeah so that is not my number one it is and this, The Tale of Genji by Murasaki, Murasaki Shikibu. And this is <coughs> 1320 pages. So that's the longest book if we mean this like the longest single volume. But. If we mean you know, the longest book as one contained story, then I have Väläskärin kertomuksia by Zakari Topelius. This is 2471 pages. 
This is a historical novel set somewhere around the late 1700 uh, to late 1800 and follows some families and yeah I haven't read this yet so you might uh, so that's why I'm rather clueless but um, it also features a magical powerful ring that protects its wearer against some elements and brings luck to its wearer so Lord of the Rings as a historical novel not really but something like that hmm. question number seven what is the shortest book on your bookshelf and again I have two options here because This is my shortest. Kazuo Ishikuro, My 20th Century Evening and Other Small Breakthroughs, The Noble Lecture. And this is. I don't want to call this a book because this is basically just a you know, pamphlet or something. 36 pages. So, this is not a book. But the book that I have is collection of poetry by Odysseus, Odysseus Eleutis, a Greek poet, and this is the Axion Esti. Um, and this um, mixes um, something like 3000 years of Greek history with uh, some orthodox liturgy. Yeah, no more about that. Question number eight. What is the predominant genre on your bookshelf? Well, it's either literary fiction or sci-fi and fantasy, if I count them as one. I didn't do any count. So but those are the you know, main things that, that dominate my bookshelves. Question number nine. Have you done a bookshelf tour? No, I have not. Question number ten. Go on a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds with that number. So I did this uh, before, before I started recording and I got shelf number four, which is this one here, and book number 30, and that was Hardwired by Walter John Williams. Isn't this so 80s? So this is cyberpunk science fiction novel. Lots of action, lots of fun. Uh, I have not read this yet. I uh, got this from a free library. I saw this amazingly, you know, Amazingly 80s cover and thought I should pick it up. Question number 11. Do you have fan merch or any other decorations on your bookshelf? No, I do not have any fan merch. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going into that. Um, but I do have this nice eraser. No, not eraser, a uh, sharpener. Yeah, it's a globe. That's pretty much my only decoration. I don't, in general, like clutter on my bookshelves. So I try to keep them rather clean. Question number 12. Show us your bookshelf. Well, uh, here, here we have two bookshelves. 
down here we have uh, some CDs. Peter Gabriel. Yep. Some of my comic books, art books. This shelf is mostly mostly French classics, non-fiction, random stuff, uh, Russians, and random stuff. <laughs> some Germans, some Murakami, some Orhan Pamuk, very random. Then mostly Japanese up there. Then um, some hardbacks, <laughs> very random. More hardbacks, even more random. And comic books. And over there, which I'm not going to show you, is my science fiction and more contemporary literary fiction. Mostly paperbacks. And in that direction, I have I have uh, my textbooks and DVDs. Oh, and I forgot to talk about my uh, non-bookshelf stuff. Okay. I do have a large storage area up there. Uh, it's basically a loft on balcony, but I keep it as a storage area. So I keep <coughs> books in boxes because I don't need to keep all this on display all the time. Mainly the pretentious stuff. So, for example, in this box, I have the entire Naruto. So if I feel like I want to read Naruto today, I pick up this box, start from number one, and just keep on reading. Yeah, question number 13. Tag someone. I will tag Tom at Tom LA Books and Liz at For Booking Out Loud. Or if for some reason you feel like doing this tag and I didn't tag you, then go ahead. Who am I to stop you? Yeah, that's it. Tag your it. <laughs>